What is up everyone, Max back here with another video. In this video, I will address the big news we received today regarding the future of electric Corvettes and what it means as far as impact. Before I do go ahead and get started, if you find yourself enjoying the content and want to see more C8 Corvette news and updates, like the video and hit that subscribe button, it definitely goes a long way. Now, if for some reason you are unfamiliar with what news I am referring to in this video, earlier this morning, General Motors President Mark Roos confirmed that Chevrolet is working towards an all-electric Corvette. Also, we got confirmation that we will be seeing a hybrid C8 Corvette as early as 2023. We also saw a video released on YouTube by Chevrolet showing off a camouflage C8 Corvette driving around in the snow. That would indicate we will be seeing these two Corvettes as all-wheel drive. There was also plenty of activity on social media from General Motors and Chevrolet, so it is clear that they want to make it known that the C8 Corvette is going electric in hopes to create anticipation and a little more buzz. Now, if you have been following my channel or have been keeping up with Corvette news in general, you would know that a hybrid C8 Corvette has been in the works for a while, and it has been named the Corvette E-Ray. There have been many camo-wrapped CA Corvettes out in the wild that many have assumed to be the E-Ray. It is unclear if this hybrid will include the 6.2 liter V8 we see in the base C8, or if it will include the 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8 that is in the upcoming Z06. I would guess that they would use the base c 8 engine that makes roughly 500 horsepower and add electric motors to try and reach similar horsepower figures as we see in the Z06, which puts out a mind-boggling 670 horsepower. It also happens to be the most power from a naturally aspirated V8 engine ever produced. As a CA Corvette owner myself, this hybrid gets me super excited as the 495 horsepower already is ridiculous for daily driving, and I do not have much of a problem getting traction, even with it being rear-wheel drive. I cannot even imagine the 0-60 to launches and times of an all-wheel drive version of the same car. Plus, one has to consider that the car will be able to be driven all year round. I personally live in Illinois, and I know that when it snows, and when the weather is terrible, which is at least half the year, the Corvette is practically undrivable, partially due to the fact that you don't want to drive such a nice car in bad conditions, but also with it being rear-wheel drive, you risk slipping all over the place. Obviously, if you are careful, it can be done, and as someone who daily drove a Camaro for two years, which is rear-wheel drive as well, I drove that year-round in Illinois, it is possible, but this all-wheel drive C8 Corvette will be great for those who want to drive their Corvette all the time. As far as an all-electric Corvette that was confirmed to be coming in the future, my excitement lessens a bit. Part of the reason I love Corvettes is the sound. I have been in a 2022 Tesla Model S, which is their sedan that is ultra quick. The car was amazing, and although it was not the Plaid, it was a long range model, but it still offers a relatively similar 0 to 60 time as my C8 Corvette, and there is no way in the world you can convince me that that Tesla is more fun than the Corvette. Granted, the Tesla is very practical, being that it offers five seats and is all wheel drive. And I know the world is changing and electric vehicles are becoming more prominent. I understand that, but I feel as though they should change the name of the car if they're going to make it all electric because at that point, I feel like it's not a Corvette anymore. Some good news is the fact that Chevy still plans to produce ICE vets even when they start to produce the hybrid and all electric versions of the car. This will be super interesting to see as far as sales go. Many Corvette enthusiasts love the tradition and would likely choose the Z06 over a hybrid in my opinion. I know that many people look at performance numbers and the torque electric vehicles can produce is unquestionably amazing. I would love to hear what everyone thinks about this in the comments below, specifically if these hybrid and all electric Corvettes is something you would consider purchasing over a Corvette with a traditional motor. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe for more CA content, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.